Hi everyone, this is Sketcher Fashion Drawing Tutorials and in this lesson we are going to learn how to draw a tiger print. As an example we are going to render polka dress. So first let's take a look at the actual pattern. So this is the image from the back and as you can see there is this center and two rows of diagonal lines on both sides that meet each other in the center and lines become wider in the center but you know it depends on which tiger you're inspired by and uh, how you modify the pattern yourself so i'm drawing this diagonal line that becomes wider in the center and there is another diagonal line on the other side you can break the lines once you break the line you can draw the continuation a bit higher or lower you can make it wide so try to make it look more naturally by making inconsistent widths and direction well these lines are quite wide and as i said this is the look from the back back of the tiger has this pattern if you want to draw lines a bit thinner for smaller items you can draw these lines again lines that start wide and then become thinner and sometimes these lines split well, you see that on one row there is usually one line coming from one direction, left or right. So they don't meet each other, more like a zipper, the way the zipper works. So let's start. We are going to work with a model on the right. So there are other prints as well, so check other tutorials too. Well, I'm starting with vanilla color of pro marker is the base color mm, it's slightly reddish yellow so i'm coloring all the dress using that color uh, now take solid surface and i'm spreading uh, spice color it's dark orange so first i want to draw the pattern so i know where to color i'm drawing it the first way so this print it just repeats the pattern on the back of a uh, tiger. Now I'm using oatmeal color, but it's up to you. You can still use the base color, which in our case is vanilla. I just like that oatmeal is a bit more reddish uh, and darker than vanilla. So I can make a nice transition from one color to another one. Now I'm mixing oatmeal, but you can mix vanilla with dark orange, and in my case it's spice color of Pro Marker. And I'm just making these lines along, mostly along the pattern. And again, somewhere you can make it darker, somewhere somewhere lighter. So don't just follow though that pattern and make the lines the same width and opacity so now I'm using 0.8 nib fine liner to draw the print and again as you can see uh, somewhere I make it wider somewhere I change direction sometimes I break the line but mostly in the center where two diagonal lines from both sides meet each other, I make them wider, so I get this thick tick, kind of. And the way that I'm moving my pen is like drawing a cardiogram in a hospital. You remember those lines that show the movement of heart muscles? Like many, many lines. So that's what I'm doing with my pen, but I draw the, everything so close that I just get a peach black. Plus my fine liner is really thick. So I'm almost done with the pattern. Right now I'm adding just a little bit of orange, just regular orange. And then I'm adding a little bit of spice color, dark orange. Just, I like when there is a good contrast, it just looks good. And this dress is actually a jacquard dress. 
and adding a little bit of primrose in light areas very light yellow now i'm using terracotta brown for your belt i'm leaving some area with light reflection just white i'm actually adding some terracotta on your dress i just yeah i think it looks good so now i spread terracotta on solid surface and using a blender blender is just no color marker i'm mixing blender with terracotta and making this radiant next with brown pencil i'm drawing tiny circles to make uh, the texture and with the same pencil i'm showing the shadows now i'm drawing your back and it's really shiny so it's uh, like a patent leather so i'm just drawing as you can see only part of it with black and the rest with a cool gray four so just adding a bit more black and then again leaving the reflection of light on your bracelet now adding a bit of more light with a whitening gel pen and showing the stitches on her back and let's deal, deal with her shoes so again patent leather leaving some reflection of light and that's it we almost finished this sketch i hope you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe to fsketcher channel if you like this video please push the like button follow fsketcher on instagram and pinterest like it on facebook visit fsketcher.com for more resources and see you next tutorial